Mania Project Manas, the official AI and robotics team of Manipal Institute of Technology. We present to you Antari. Antauri spans 6 feet wide, stands 2 feet tall and at a maximum takeoff weight of 50 pounds, has a flight time of 25 minutes. It is a hexacopter capable of carrying a payload of 11 pounds and performing autonomous flight, waypoint navigation, imaging and ODLC. This year, we aim to successfully complete our setup, mission demonstration and teardown without incurring any penalties or a timeout. We will achieve the same by employing three operators, a safety pilot, a GCS operator and ODLC operator to maximize points while ensuring efficiency. Antori is capable of performing complete autonomous flight while achieving waypoint navigation and ODLC with accuracies permissible by the rulebook. It is equipped with safety measures such as return to home and return to land in the event of a mishap. Antori is equipped with sufficient hardware to deliver all the drop objects at once at their geotag locations by the means of parachute and 3D printed paths to ensure a safe and hassle-free retrieval of objects. The team has conducted multiple flight tests simulating the actual mission demonstration at SWAS, giving us sufficient experience to ensure that we meet all parameters with regards to operational excellence. The chassis is composed of two stacked carbon fiber plates which support the landing gear and six arm rods. Two 6S 22AH lithium polymer batteries connected in series, coupled with a custom made power distribution board and a 4S auxiliary battery power all components of the drone. A Pixar Cube Orange is mounted on a vibration isolation mount to prevent high and medium frequency vibrations from interfering with the IMU reading while allowing low-frequency actual board movement to sync with the airframe. 3D printed parts support two here three GPS modules to prevent electromagnetic interference from high-voltage wires. The cube orange triggers the airdrop and a Raspberry Pi 4 is used to transfer images from Antauri to the ground control station. The GCS operator monitors flight system parameters and advises the safety pilot on corrective actions while communicating with the ODLC operator to ensure task success. This time, we are using the Sony Alpha 6000 to capture high-definition images. Its continuous autofocus and optical zoom capabilities help us meet the acceptance criteria for ODRC and AirDrop. We use a Raspberry Pi to command the camera and geotag the images using GPS coordinates received over Mavlink from the Cube Orange Flight Controller. The Raspberry Pi then sends the image along with its latitude, longitude, altitude and localized orientation to the ground station. During coverage, we use a convolutional network to first detect, localize and classify the object from the field, after which a mathematical model of the Earth is used to extract the GPS coordinates of the locations, after which the drone flies over to this point and initializes a comparison-based neural network, which uses the reference image of the ODLCs to track it throughout the live stream and center the drone over it, which then triggers the drop. We had to make significant changes to our drone's design this year to accommodate for five airdrops. After careful uh, consideration and experimentation, we finalized rack and pinion, which is actuated by servo. We also practiced uh, shape optimization to make sure that the parachute does not pre-deploy and uh, our mission was successful. Considering the average wind speed to be 8 miles per hour, we found that if the payload was in a decelerated fall with the parachute for more than 2 seconds, it drifted beyond the allowable error threshold for the airdrop. To minimize this, a 50 feet paracord is utilized to facilitate a delayed release of the parachute, allowing for a soft landing. To attempt the airdrop, a mathematical model called Geoid is used to extrapolate the GPS coordinates of the objects, which are identified in the live stream of images coming from the drone. 
Tori has three bidirectional links operating on distinct RF spectrum to ensure clear and reliable data transmission. Such a setup allows for transmission of data across multiple mediums and allows us to meet various requirements with precision and accuracy. We use the RFD900 radio modem operating at 900 MHz and Mavlink protocol to transfer Mavlink messages at 128 kilobytes per second for a communication range of 9 miles between Antori and the ground control station for autonomous navigation. An express LRS-based long-range transceiver operating at 2.4 GHz and CRSF protocol consolidates a communication range of 18 miles by exchanging CRSF command packets at 250 Hz between the safety pilot and Antori. Lastly, we use a Ubiquiti Rocket 5 AC light operating at 5 GHz and TCP IP protocol to transfer images taken for ODLC and drop location identification through a Raspberry Pi 4B at a frequency of 100 MB per second for a range of over 1.2 miles. The Landinger consists of two pairs of carbon fiber rods with nylon chipsets and L1 couplers, each are assembled at an angle. Carbon fiber triangular PLs connected two square rods to the rickshaw copter, which provides structure and support. The landing gear was redesigned to be more efficient and also to minimize the setup time by making it easier and quicker to assemble. Antari is powered by 6P60 170KV motors coupled with 60 ampere ESCs and 22.4 inch polymer foldable propellers. Each propulsion unit produces a maximum thrust of 18.5 pounds with a total thrust output of 111 pounds, providing a thrust to weight ratio of 2.7 is to 1. This year, we fabricated the drone by handling carbon fiber, followed by vacuum bagging to develop a rigid chassis. It is supported by 3D printed ancillary mounts, which houses all communication electronics and also support the propulsion system. Subtractive manufacturing was utilized to develop a robust landing gear out of nylon to facilitate the new airdrop and provide a robust structure. Antari's autonomous systems are controlled by Pixar Cube Orange, which runs the Arduino software suite. This was a major upgrade over Seraphim's PX4, which gives Antari a higher waypoint accuracy and the ability to replan its flight path while still airborne. We use Audio Pilot to navigate the aircraft and monitor all flight parameters. It provides advanced features for autonomous flight, sophisticated mission planning tools, telemetry data logging, and support for Mavlink APIs. The A-Star path planning algorithm finds the shortest distance between two waypoints by performing line-of-sight checks and avoiding zigzag patterns. Array Intersection Approach-based planner is used for efficient waypoint navigation and coverage planning, which covers the search area by projecting vertical rays at a fixed distance to minimize image overlap. These rays intersect with the map boundary to create sweep points organized into a sequence and subsequently sent to the cube orange. The ground control station manages software tools with the planner server package to generate mission plans with precision using map commands. Mission progress is tracked in real time using cube ground control. Antori uses ArduPilot as opposed to PX4 from last year. ArduPilot's ability to replan missions mid-flight allows for greater flexibility in completing the entire mission in a single flight. We have also added a second GPS module on Antori, increasing the positional accuracy by 31%, allowing us to perform airdrop and waypoint navigation within the area specified by the rulebook. Keeping in mind the increased number of drops and the geotagging required to attempt the airdrop, it was not feasible for us to use a winch mechanism similar to last year. Thus, we have decided to use parachutes to meet the acceptance criteria for the airdrop task. To prevent obstruction of the field of view of the imaging system by the landing gears from our design last year, we have switched from a triple landing gear to a symmetrical double landing gear structure. This allows us to optimally place the imaging system and all airdrop payloads, enabling us to attempt all mission demonstration tasks. The batteries are equipped with anti-spark connectors to eliminate the chances of the high voltage batteries damaging the electronic components. Finally, a rigid connection is implemented between the payload and its release mechanism to eliminate all degrees of freedom, hence minimizing dangling when the drone is in flight. When attempting the mission demonstration, our communication systems and ground control station can be threatened by man-in-the-middle attacks through ARF spoofing. To defend these attacks, all our devices are connected to a local private network with the implementation of an ARS spoof detector and data encryption of the images. Battery cell voltages, temperature of electronic components, and all mechanical joints are checked periodically to allow for safe mission testing. 
The imaging system utilizes a Sony Alpha 6000 camera with continuous autofocus capabilities which enables us to capture high quality images even in challenging lighting conditions. It was rigorously trained by employing a dark net based detection model on a custom synthetic data set to detect ODLCs with a high accuracy. The detected objects are then classified using a ResNet based classification model and false positive removal algorithm. The subsystem was successfully detected and classified 170 objects with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, achieving an accuracy of 95.56% in detections and 89.5% in classification. Since we were working with parachutes for the first time, 200 tests were performed to ascertain the various factors that contribute to the drop. Multiple techniques were implemented to achieve a delayed release of the payload, such that the drift is minimized while increasing accuracy of the drop. Out of the tests conducted, 91 were successful with a drop accuracy of 5.6 feet, having the 90th percentile distance as 8 feet. The payload reached the ground at a nominal speed of 1 meter per second ensuring a soft landing as specified in the acceptance criteria. The communication pipeline was tested multiple times at long ranges to identify and eliminate issues of disconnection mid-flight. The software stack was thoroughly tested using synthetic datasets to minimize invalid data transfers. Ultimately, we were able to achieve a reliable communication with sufficient bandwidth to perform the mission. The RFE 900 has a range of 9 miles with a throughput of 128 kbps with a packet loss of 4.5%. The LRS Trans Receiver delivers data at 250 Hz over 30 km with a packet loss of 5%. Finally, the rocket transfers images over 1.2 miles at 100 Mbps with a packet loss of 0.8%. To ensure that our full mission testing was comprehensive, we categorized our tests into four parts – waypoints, coverage, detection, and drop. This allowed us to test each component of the mission separately, ensuring that each was functioning correctly before testing the entire mission as a whole. A total of 350 flights were conducted to evaluate the performance of the aircraft. The average flight distance covered during these flights was 13 miles, with an average flight time of 25 minutes. Through these tests, we were able to verify that the aircraft met all the required performance criteria and was deemed flight ready for its intended mission. When testing the drone with Ardu Pilot, the waypoint radius parameter was adjusted to evaluate waypoint accuracy. The drone follows a predefined path and different values of the parameter are tested to ensure that it stays on course and attempts the waypoints. The accuracy of the waypoints was measured by comparing the drone's actual flight path with the intended path. With such a setup, we performed a total of 350 autonomous flights, with 20 waypoints achieving 14 on an average, with an accuracy of less than 5 feet while staying within the permissible mission boundaries. We have performed a total of 10 full mission tests with the competition team, including one additional ODLC operator apart from the mandatory two. The autonomous drone flight begins with a pre-planned route using waypoint navigation. Once the drone reaches the target area, sweeps of the coverage area are conducted to detect and classify the targets of interest using a neural network. An ODLC operator is present at the ground control station to confirm the accuracy of the detections and send the drone to drop the payload. The tests took an average of 12 minutes to set up, 25 minutes for mission and 6 minutes for teardown recording a 90% accuracy in ODLC, 65% accuracy in successful airdrop, having a deviation of 5 feet from the target location. thousand feet.
landing. Autonomous mission initiated. Reached 200 feet. Safety pilot take over. Autonomous mission initiated. Project Manas, the official AI and robotics team of Manipal Institute of Technology, has successfully developed an unmanned aerial system meeting all flight performance parameters for SUAS 2023. This was made possible by reflecting upon our shortcomings last year and performing intensive analysis and rigorous testing to meet the acceptance criteria this year. Considering the new airdrop task and its mechanical requirements, we had to manufacture inventory completely from scratch. This involved iterative designing and effective communication between the AI, electronics, mechanical and management divisions of our team. Having successfully conducted 10 full mission tests, we are confident that our unmanned aerial system fulfills the competition requirements and is capable of completing the entire mission demonstration at SUAS 2023.